And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. You got there, you've got the father speaking from heaven saying, this is my beloved son, Jesus on the earth and the spirit coming down and lighting upon him. The father, son and Holy Spirit commissioning Jesus at the beginning of his ministry. And right the way through, you have the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit all at work in our redemption. One God, three persons in one, but all one God. And all engaged in our salvation. And Jesus says here he's going to send the Holy Spirit. Uh, he calls him the helper in the scripture. In this version, the Greek word is parakletos. It's also translated the comforter or the counselor. Really, it means one who comes alongside. person who's summoned to your aid. Can, can refer to an advisor, uh, a legal defender, or a mediator, or an intercessor. And it's a person who's coming. God the Spirit is a person, God the Holy Spirit coming. Not a force or an influence, a person of God who will come and dwell inside all of us who believe in Jesus. It says, I'm going to come and dwell in you. He will dwell in you and will be in you. Can you see that? That's telling you that the Holy Spirit, if you believe in Jesus, is going to come and dwell within you. When you're born again of the Spirit, and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the third person of the Trinity of God dwelling in you as part, uh, part of your being. <clears throat> when my grandson Joshua was quite little, I was talking about Jesus, and I said about asking Jesus into your life. And he said, he's too big to come into me. <laughs> I thought, yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> the heaven of heavens can't contain you could contain him but God can send his Holy Spirit to come and dwell within us how he does that we don't understand it but it's a miracle 